The Katera Depression is a depression in the northwest of Egypt in the Matru Governorate and is part of the Libyan Desert. It lies below sea level and is covered with salt pans, sand dunes and salt marshes. The region extends between latitudes of 28 degrees 35 and 30 degrees 25 north and longitudes of 26 degrees 20 and 29 degrees 02 east. The region was created by the interplay of salt weathering and wind erosion. Some 20 kilometers west of the depression lie the oases of SIWA and Jabab in smaller but similar depressions. The Katera Depression contains the second lowest point in Africa at minus 133 meters below sea level, the lowest being Lake Asal in Djibouti. The depression covers about 19,605 square kilometers, a size comparable to Lake Ontario are twice as large as Lebanon. Due to its size and proximity to the Mediterranean seashore, it has been studied for its potential to generate hydroelectricity. Geography The depression has the shape of a teardrop, with its point facing east and the broad deep area facing the southwest. The northern side of the depression is characterized by steep escarpments up to 280 meters high, marking the edge of the adjacent Eldifa Plateau. To the south the depression slopes gently up to the Great Sand Sea. Within the depression are salt marshes under the northwestern and northern escarpment edges, and extensive dry lake beds that flood occasionally. The marshes occupy approximately 300 square kilometers. Although wind-blown sands are encroaching in some areas, about a quarter of the region is occupied by dry lakes composed of hard crust and sticky mud, and occasionally filled with water. The depression was initiated by either wind or fluvial erosion in the late Neogene, but during the Quaternary the dominant mechanism has been a combination of salt weathering and wind erosion working together. First, the salts break up the depression depression floor, then the wind blows away the resulting sands. This process is less effective in the eastern part of the depression, due to lower salinity groundwater. Ecology Groves of Acacia radiana, growing in shallow sandy depressions, and Phrygmite swamps represent the only permanent vegetation. The acacia groves vary widely in biodiversity and rely on runoff from rainfall and groundwater to survive. The Mofra oasis in the northeast of the depression has a 4 square kilometers brackish lake and a Phrygmite swamp. The southwestern corner of the depression is part of the SIW. WA protected area which protects the wild oasis in and around the SIWA oasis. The depression is an important habitat for the cheetah, with the largest number of recent sightings being in areas in the northern, western and northwestern part of the Katera depression, including the highly isolated, wild oases of Ain Ei Katera and Ain Ei Gazalat and numerous acacia groves both inside and outside the depression. Depression. Gazelles also inhabit the Katera Depression, being an important food source for the cheetah. The largest gazelle population exists in the southwestern part of the Katera Depression within a vast area of wetlands and soft sand. The area of 900 square kilometers includes the wild oases of Hatiat Tababa and Hatiat Umkitabane, and is a mosaic of lakes, salt marshes, scrubland, wild palm groves and desmustachu by Panata grassland. Other common fauna include the Cape Hare, Egyptian Jackal, Sand Fox and more rarely the Fennec Fox. Barbary sheep were once common throughout but now are few in numbers. Extinct species from the area include the Scimitarorisks, a Dax and Bubble Hartebees, also the Drosaridae, Spaculatus, an extinct plant known only from fossils of its pollen, was found at the GHAZAL81 well. Climate. The climate of the Katera Depression is highly arid with annual precipitation between 25 and 50 mm on the northern rim to less than 25 mm in the south of the depression. 
The average daily temperature averages between 36.2 to 6.2 degrees Celsius during summer and winter months. The prevailing wind comes from the north varying between northeasterly and westerly directions. Wind speeds peak in March with of 11.5 meters per second and minimal in December with 3.2 meters per second. The average wind speed is about 5 to 6 meters per second. Land use. There is one permanent settlement in the Katera Depression, the Kara Oasis. The oasis is located in the westernmost part of the depression and is inhabited by about 300 people. The depression is also inhabited by the nomadic Bedouin people and the flocks, with the uninhabited Mofra Oasis being important in times of water scarcity during the dry seasons. The Katera Depression contains many oil concessions and several operating fields. Drillers include Royal Dutch Shell and the Apache Corporation. History Measurement The altitude of the depression was first measured in 1917 by an officer of the British Army leading a light car patrol into the region. The officer took readings of the height of the terrain with an aneroid barometer on behalf of Dr. John Ball, who later would also publish on the region. He discovered that the spring and E.I. Katera lay about 60 meters below sea level. Because the barometer got lost and the readings were so unexpected, this find had to be verified. In 1924-25, Ball again organized a survey party, this time with the sole purpose to triangulate the elevation on a westerly line from Wadi El Natran. The survey was led by G. F. Walpole who had already distinguished himself by triangulating the terrain across 500 kilometers from the Nile to SIWA via Bathyria. He confirmed earlier readings and proved the presence of a huge area below sea level, with places as deep as minus 133 meters. Knowledge about their geology of the Katera Depression was greatly extended by Ralph Alger Bagnold, a British military commander and explorer. Through numerous journeys in the 1920s and 1930s, most notable was his 1927 journey during which he crossed the Depression east to west and visited the oasis of Kara and SIWA. Many of these trips used motor vehicles which use special techniques for driving in desert conditions. These techniques were an important asset of the long-range desert group which Bagnold founded in 1940. After the discovery of the Depression, Ball published the triangulation findings about the region on October 1927 in the Geographical Journal. He also gave the region its name, Katera, after the spring and E.I. Katera where the first readings were taken. The name literally means, dripping, in Arabic. Six years later in 1933, Ball was the first to publish a proposal for flooding the region to generate hydropower in his article, The Katera Depression of the Libyan Desert and the Possibility of Its Utilization for Power Production. World War II During World War II, the Depression's presence shaped the first and second battles of El Alamein. It was considered impassable by tanks and most other military vehicles because of features such as salt lakes, high cliffs and, or escarpments, and fetch fetch. The cliffs in particular acted as an edge of the El Alamein battlefield which meant the British position could not be outflanked. Both Axis and Allied forces built their defences in a line from the Mediterranean Sea to the Katera Depression. These defences became known as the Devil's Gardens and are for the most part still there, especially the extensive minefields. No large army units entered the Depression, although German Africa Corps patrols and the British Long Range Desert Group did operate in the area. As these small units had considerable experience, Experience in desert travel. The RAF's repair and salvage units used a route through the depression in order to salvage.
salvage a recover aircraft that had put down in the western desert away from the coastal plain. The RSUs included a six-wheel drive truck, Coles crane, and large trailer, and were particularly active from mid-1941 when Air Vice Marshal G. G. Dawson arrived in Egypt to address the lack of serviceable aircraft. The German officer stationed in the Depression was cited by Gordon Welchman as helpful in the breaking of the Enigma machine code. Due to his regular transmissions stating there was nothing to report, Katera Depression Project the large size of the Katera Depression and the fact that it falls to a depth of 133 meters below mean sea level has led to several proposals to create a massive hydroelectric project in northern Egypt rivaling the Aswan High Dam. This project is known as the Katera Depression Project. The proposals call for a large canal, a tunnel being excavated from the Katera due north of 55 to 80 kilometers depending on the route chosen to the Mediterranean Sea to bring seawater into the area. An alternative plan involved running a 320 kilometers pipeline northeast to the freshwater Nile River at Rosetta. Water would flow into a series of hydroelectric penstocks which would generate a electricity by releasing the water at 60 meters below sea level. Because the Katera depression is in a very hot dry region with very little cloud cover, the water released at the minus 70 meters level would spread out from the release point across the basin and evaporate from solar influx. Because of evaporation, more water can flow into the depression, thus forming a constant source of energy. Eventually this would result in a hypersaline lake or a salt pan as the water evaporates and leaves the salt it contains behind. Plans to use the Katera Depression for the generation of electricity date back to 1912 from Berlin geographer Professor Penck. The subject was discussed in more detail by Dr. John Ball in 1927. In 1957 the American Central Intelligence Agency proposed to President Dwight Eisenhower that peace in the Middle East could be achieved by flooding the Katera Depression. The resulting lagoon, according to the CIA, would have four benefits. It would be spectacular and peaceful. Quote dot. It would materially alter the climate in adjacent areas. Quote dot. It would provide work during construction and living areas after completion for the Palestinian Arabs. Quote dot. It will get Egyptian President Gamal Abdel Naziz's mind on other matters because he needs some way to get off the Soviet hook. Quote dot. In the 1970s and early 1980s, several proposals to flood the area were made by Friedrich Bassler and the joint venture Katera, a group of mainly German companies. They wanted to make use of peaceful nuclear explosions to construct a tunnel, drastically reducing construction costs compared to conventional methods. This project proposed to use 213 devices, with yields of 1 to 1. 5 megatons detonated at depths of 100 to 500 meters. This fit within the Atoms for Peace program proposed by President Dwight Eisenhower in 1953. Because of this frightening solution, the Egyptian government turned down the plan. Planning experts and scientists intermittently put forward potentially viable options, whether of a tunnel or canal, as an economic, ecological and energy solution in Egypt, often coupled with the idea of new settlements. In popular culture, Ice Cold in Alex, this 1958 World War II film features a British army crew escaping to Brook and returning in an Austin K-2 wire ambulance to Alexandria, via the Katera Depression.